Praise be Jesus Christ. We were made for heaven. St. Paul tells us that our citizenship is in heaven. Our Lord Jesus said, in his Father's house there are many dwelling places, and he's going to go and prepare a place for us. Now, I want to talk about the beatific vision. Now, imagine you go to a restaurant, and it's a, it's a vast, wonderful restaurant with different courtyards and rooms, and everything is just exquisite. And someone points out the owner of the restaurant and says, this is the one who created all of this. He's extremely gifted. He chose the, the menu and the dishes and how everything's laid out. He chose the decorations and the ornaments and the layout of the, of the dining rooms and the gardens and, and how the waitresses are, are, are dressed and the waiters are dressed and everything was created and designed by him. And so when you see the beautiful artwork, when you see the beautiful dishes of food, when you listen to the music in the background, in a sense, you see the owner of the restaurant, something of him, because art reflects the artist. And so too does creation reflect the creator. Now listen to me, this is from our Sunday Visitors Encyclopedia of Catholic Doctrine, edited by Russell Shaw, Beatific Vision. This is what he says. It is the constant teaching of the Catholic Church that the direct vision of God, both in himself and most gloriously reflected in everyone and everything else, constitutes the principal and final end for which man was made. We were made to see God, to gaze upon him. But it says here, not just to, 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 to see God directly, but it says both in himself and most gloriously reflected in everyone and everything else. So in heaven, we will see God when we look to him, see him face to face, but we will also see him when we look about and see the angels and the saints and the, the wonders of heaven, the beautiful flowers and gardens and the music, all of that will be a certain gaze upon God. We will see the wonder, the magnificence of our God in heaven. Now, the reason I bring this up is we already experience this here in this life. There's times when we see what, whether it's a beautiful sunset or a beautiful scenery or listen to magnificent music or hear children laughing and singing or we're at a, a family gathering with, with family and friends and we see something of the goodness of God. Like God made this. This is, this is a, ref a reflection of the creator. Creation reflects the creator. And what we experience is we get the sense that this is forever. This is a foretaste of, of heaven. This is a foretaste of something that will let never end. What I'm seeing right now with the eyes of faith, this beauty, this, this glory, this, the, the wonder of God reflected through his creation, what I see will never end. This is forever. And so already here in life, if we have eyes to see, we get a foretaste of heaven. We see the things of God, the beautiful creation of God, and we recognize, oh, I see my creator, and it's wonderful, and we want to gaze upon this beauty forever. Viva Cristo.